Hey folks, welcome back to Full Throttle. Another game from my childhood. When last we left off, we were collecting parts to fix up our bike. We got our welding torch and our gas. All we need now is the pair of forks. And where else to uh, get a pair of forks instead of the junkyard? Here we go. Do do do. All right. Pull the chain. And said, I do kind of remember this now. It, it, I think like any old game, stuff kind of comes back to you a little bit. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Damn it. All right, pull the chain. Now we want to padlock it. Did we not want? Not something I want to lock. I, no. Wait, what? I thought that's how you did it. Oh no, you gotta lock this. Okay, that's right. By locking this... There we go, now you can climb up the chain. And of course your pit bull that has to be there. I think if you jump down, you're, like, chased away, though. Maybe not. No, I think if you go for the forks, you're chased away. <laughs> I love Ben's run. He's just this tough guy that runs, like... <laughs> can walk over here, although I think I'm missing a stake or something that's used to lure the dog. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. All the stuff really does start to blend together. <laughs> Alright. You could never make what we're about to do today, because PETA would be all over you. You gotta get the dog. Oh no, you gotta drop a car on him, that's right. Yeah, it's a, it's a little... <laughs> Let's hit the button. As far as I remember... Oh, no, oh, gotta raise it. Alright. Now you gotta wait for the dog to get somewhere where you can drop the car. Like here. Oh! Missed it. I would love to see Peter's reaction to this today. We'll just wait for him to come back. Come here, little doggy. Oh, you... Come on. On to the car. Ugh. No, I... Come on, I hit that. This is getting annoying now. I just gotta wait for him to go to that yellow one. Come on, dog. There we go. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh wait, I... Isn't that what you were supposed to do? Oh, you might have to pick it up again. Damn it. Alright, maybe I don't remember this quite as well as I thought. I thought you just dropped the car on him. 
That is a heck of a dog, though, if it survived a car dropping on him. You might have to lift it up again. No, you're not given that option. Alright, I must be missing something. I was almost positive that's what you did. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. It's been a little while, guys. <laughs> no, come on, keep going, Ben. There might be meat or something in that guy's frit. No, stop it. Back up. No, go down. Can you get out of here? There it is. All right. Go back to that house and see if there's like a steak or something in the fridge. I thought I missed something. Do do do. Does he have a fridge? Ah, oh, there's the refrigerator. All right. Where's and there? There we go. There's the meat. Yeah, I think you put that in a car and then left it up. Okay, so my solution of dropping a car on the pit bull is uh, probably going to get me in a little trouble, but, you know. Come on, that's logical. You drop a car on a dog and uh, you, you don't expect it to keep going after you. Oh well. Alright. Take two. I think we just... <laughs> See, that's not enough, though. You have to uh, pick that car up, then. Because otherwise he still comes after you for the parts. I just want to get up. Whoa. No, no, don't go down. Don't go down. No, God, Ben, I hate you. Can't reach it. Up. There we go. I still think that my solution should have worked, but, you know, I guess I would have been cruelty to animals and could have gotten in trouble for that, uh, you know. Alright. Come on. Come on. Over. Down. Down. I think that's all you gotta do then. Then I think you can get the forks. Although knowing my luck, I'm gonna be chased away and proven wrong. Let's go for the forks. And survey says... Good deal. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Uh, well, funny. that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. Alright. I'm going to cut it off here. I've been meaning to add... I just want to make sure that uh, I don't ever go over my time limits because then it becomes a real pain in the butt. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tune in next time. Thanks again.